Hey girl, welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Val and I discuss all things healthy hair care related, including a little bit of beauty, a little bit of lifestyle. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to hit the subscription button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos from me. So as you can tell by the title of this video, it's a hair update, it's a relaxer update, it's an everything type of update because I've been going through a lot where my hair is concerned and I actually haven't had the chance to just sit down discuss it and just go through everything with you guys so i'll be doing that in today's video so it's going to be a long one grab a snack grab a drink grab whatever you need because we're going to get into it now okay so let's just get right into it so everything started last year so let's backtrack a little bit my last relaxer update was march or april of 2021 so that's when i had a nice blunt cut my hair was just about maybe above bra strap i was kind of obsessed with this length still kind of am anyways i was obsessed with that length and my hair was fine shedding was at bay nothing was really going on i was happy with where i was at so moving forward now in june that's my next relaxer. You guys know what I use, ORS, relaxer, lie, normal strength. Nothing was really out of the ordinary, but for some reason I ended up under process and there was a lot of texture remaining. And don't get me wrong, I love texture. Texture is great in relaxed hair, um, but too much of it, if you are not looking to be text lax, can be a problem. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, what could have caused me to be under process? And at the time I remember, there wasn't much relaxer remaining in the tub for my June session. I'm thinking, okay, maybe um, the potency of the relaxer kind of dwindled as you go towards the bottom of the relaxer. Maybe my sister was kind of double dipping into the tub and, you know, cause obviously I coat my hair with a lot of Dax, porosity control, maybe the oils and such going into the tub every so often cause it to just weaken. A lot of these thoughts were just floating in my mind as to what could have caused me to be under process. Like why did I have so much texture remaining? Either way, it wasn't too much of a big deal because I was able to manage the texture. It wasn't necessary for me to do a corrective at that point. So I just kept it moving. It was good. Everything was fine in that sense. All right, so that was June. So moving forward to August now, August is when I have my annual physical checkup with my doctor just to see how things are going, regular routine checkup. I got the results of my blood work. Everything was okay except for my iron. So my hemoglobin, hemoglobin, <laughs> I can never say that word right. That was okay, but my ferritin levels were a little bit lower than where she would have liked them to be. So as a result, she put me on iron. So I started taking my iron supplements, I wanna say late August into early September around that time. All right, so fast forward to September. September was my next relaxer. The tub was done, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get a brand new tub of ORS relaxer from the beauty supply store. That way I'm not leaving it up to chance. Like there's just a brand new tub what could possibly go wrong so i go to the beauty supply store there's no tub available i get two jars of the ors lie relaxer in normal strength it seems as though the relaxer took my roots look straight i was happy for a moment then i want to say maybe around week two or three the texture just started to change it's not to say that the chemical rinsed out because i understand what a chemical does it's a permanent thing but for some reason, you guys, the texture just reverted. It's like my hair just rebelled and said it's just not going to take it. And I ended up under process once again. It was quite discouraging because, you know, managing the textures was a lot. And then to now have my new growth under process again, it was, it was annoying to say the least. It was extremely annoying, but it was kind of manageable. At this point, I was kind of over it and I'm like, you know what? Something's got to change, something's got to give. All throughout the summer and even September, October, I was in talks with my Avalon distributor. You guys know that I get my Care Care products from a distributor here in Toronto and um, she's been trying to get me onto a firm for the longest time. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I like my ORS. It's been good to me. You know, she's my girl. ORS understands me. She's like, oh no, try a firm. It's professional. It's this, it's that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going through my own thing with ORS right now, so maybe it's time. I do my research, as you guys know, I always do my research. I looked at reviews, and I also reached out to my girls that use a firm conditioning relaxer, because that's the one that she recommended for me. Those ladies really helped me to just really understand this relaxer system and their results with it. So I'm like, okay, all right, it seems all right. Let me try it, let me see what the hype is. So my November relaxer is when I made the decision to jump ship 
I cheated on my ORS. <laughs> I tried the Affirm Conditioning Relaxer and no word of a lie, you guys, I my heart skipped a beat using this relaxer system and I'll explain why. First of all, I was very nervous. Like I haven't really, de I haven't deviated from ORS in years, okay? It's been over 10 years I've used ORS relaxer system. So trying something else, especially a chemical, is nerve wracking completely. <laughs> I don't recommend it. But if you have to, obviously you have to do what you gotta do. But in this situation, I was extremely scared. My sister obviously was a little bit nervous as well, but we just dove in. So what I love about the Affirm Conditioning Relaxer System is that it has steps included in the system to encourage healthier hair. Even though you're using a chemical, it's formulated in a way where it's gonna protect and preserve your hair and make it healthier. So you have the Protecto first, and this is basically porosity control and DAX all in one. And that's what I use to protect the ends of my hair. So you apply this to your previously relaxed hair just to prevent any kind of relaxer runoff and to prevent any kind of over-processing. So this is basically everything in one bottle, which makes it so easy and convenient. So this is Protecto and um, you apply this first. Then you move into relaxing. So I use the conditioning system in normal strength and it has um, amazing oils in it as well. I wanna say it has keratin. Hydrolyzed keratin is also in this, so you know it's going to preserve the strength and um, protein within your strands as you're relaxing. This stuff is amazing. It feels like conditioner when you're applying it. There's no scent with this relaxer. It feels like conditioner, and as you're rinsing it out, girl, it feels like conditioner. It feels like a wash day, and that's what I love most about this system. Then after you relax, you move into the conditioning mid-step. So this reminds me of back in the day on the hair boards where ladies used to do the mid-step protein treatment on relaxer day. So this is kind of the same concept. So after you relax, you do your conditioning phase. So this is positive length. If you have coarse dry hair, you use this one after relaxing. If you have fine hair, then you use the Affirm 5-in-1 Reconstructor. So I use this and it has a really low pH of about 4.5. Relaxing and then going right into a conditioner is extremely terrifying. It's very scary because you feel as though, okay, is my hair still relaxing? Is it over-processing? Like, what's going on here? This alone will neutralize your hair because of the low pH. I want to say relaxers are about 13 to 14 in the pH level. So this alone will help bring it back down to a normal level and neutralize and condition the hair as well. Because when you're relaxing, your cuticles are wide open. Affirm and Avalon believe that, okay, while the cuticles are open, we're gonna put conditioners and things within the hair strand to help build it up, to help strengthen it, to help keep it healthier. So while it's open, you condition so then the neutralizing shampoo is then used to close the cuticle and help seal all that goodness into the strands that's what i love most about this system it has healthy hair care in mind and then obviously you go in with your um, neutralizing shampoo and this is a dream it feels like just it's slip city with this okay very good stuff and the ph is really low and it has great oils as well and it smells divine so the relaxer was great i love the system it was a little too good to be true and i say that because come week three i don't know what it is about week three but the texture was different after relaxing it's weird my hair was smooth my new growth was smooth everything was nice and straight but by week three the texture came back it was coarser it was just kinky it was just coily it just rebelled it resisted the relaxer and part of me is just like okay did my porosity change am i like low porosity what's going on i felt discouraged i felt annoyed i felt frustrated and i'm like okay you know what mel mel is my sister she does the relaxer in the back i do the front and i'm like mel we got to do something like this is crazy it's not working the relaxer is not taking something is wrong so we had a little conference we had a little conference about my hair. The game plan was relaxing sooner, so maybe around eight to nine weeks. Leaving the relaxer on longer, um, so maybe not 23 minutes, but maybe 25 to 30 minutes. Obviously a lot more smoothing and combing in the back, just to be on the safe side. So that was the game plan. My sister and I, we discussed it. That was what we were planning to do. Come January, that's what we did. We left the relaxer on longer. She actually brought it down a little bit further just to help correct the under-processed areas that I've had since June. So we did all of that and my hair felt better. It felt like the relaxer took, but then again, it was still not the desired smoothness that I wanted. It was still, there was still texture remaining, which I loved, but it was just not 
the ORS texture that I'm used to. So ORS would give me straightness, but it would give me some texture, but this was a little bit too much. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I can't be leaving a relaxer on longer and relaxing sooner than 10 to 12 weeks and then smoothing it way more down my hair shaft. That's just begging for problems. Those were red flags for me. I can't be relaxing that frequently, leaving the relaxer on my scalp that long. These things were just lingering in my mind. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll revisit this a little bit later. I'll make a decision come March. Fast forward to February now, my entire family gets the virus. So my daughter, my son, my husband, myself, everybody is sick and it was definitely difficult. It was very scary it was hard i just give god praise thank you jesus that we got through it glory be to god hallelujah <laughs> because um wouldn't want to experience that again so as a result of getting the big c it took a toll on my hair you guys like i shed i shed i shed i shed so much it just brought down my whole entire spirit it's like okay like what is going on from all the under process relaxer sessions and then the breakage from being under processed and then now shedding it was just too much to bear and honestly in the grand scheme of things hair is not a priority there's so much going on in this world and there's just so many other things that you know we need to focus on but at the time i was just really down about all of this hair being you know just on the floor or in the toilet or in the sink it was just everywhere so i did tuck it away i wore a lot of protective styles and i just let it be but um it was difficult to go through having gone through that sickness and then okay your hair is coming out and if you do google it you do see a correlation between the two okay so fast forward to march now i'm like okay you know what i'm going back to my original. I'm going back to ORS and I'm gonna leave a firm because a firm ain't it. Me and her don't click. We need to go back to ORS, my tried and true. I did cheat on ORS, but we're going back. So I head over to the beauty supply store. I asked the reps on the floor, which relaxer is more recent? Which one did you just put on the shelf? Because I don't want no expired relaxer. I want something that is fresh, potent, and able to tackle these roots. The rep showed me to the ones in the back. The ones in the back of the, of the shelf are the most recent ones. The ones in the front are older. And that's what I grabbed back in September, which is what caused the under-processedness in my hair to begin with. I grabbed my two jars because I can't seem to find the tub anymore. So maybe that's a good thing um, that I don't go back to the tub and just use the jars instead. So I got two normal strength lie relaxer from ORS and I relaxed. This March relaxer, you guys, was probably the best relaxer I've had in an entire year. In an entire year hands down the best the way it just seeped into my strands it straightened it it left some texture but not too much it was just the perfect balance and i'm like wow it took me an entire full year to get to this point and it just goes to show that hair journeys are it can be very unpredictable you got to listen to your hair too if a relaxer is not really working yes do process of elimination and try to figure out what could have caused it but if you need to venture out a bit and then go back to what you know you got to do what you got to do and that's exactly what i did in this scenario it was a lot of ups and downs it was frustrating it was discouraging it was unmotivating i felt kind of lazy with my hair too i wasn't doing much with it it was a weird time you guys it's a hair journey it's not a race it's a marathon we have to learn through it i'm this far into my hair journey or my hair care lifestyle and I'm still going through things so nothing is perfect it's not always going to be the same things change for the better things can change for the worse your hair can be here today and gone tomorrow relaxers may not take you don't know what is to come but it's all about learning from it adapting I did learn that obviously I gotta check my relaxer um, expiry dates. I gotta make sure that the relaxer in the tub is still potent somewhat and I'm not double dipping into it. And if necessary, just buy a new tub to prevent any kind of under-processed hair. This June relaxer took really, really well. I'm very happy with the results. It's um, back to that predictable result that I'm used to. So I'm back in a rhythm that makes sense to me, that I'm familiar with, and I can predict the results to a certain degree. My whole goal at this point is to just focus on bringing back fullness into my hair because after March, 
my hair just really got thinner. The shedding was excessive. I am focusing more so on scalp health and just oiling my scalp, massaging it more. I'll be sharing with you guys what I've been using. So stay tuned for that. I relaxed at, I want to say 10 weeks post relaxer and my stretch was good. My hair has grown and I'll show you guys. And I did get a trim with this relaxer so yeah guys this is my hair and it does feel a little bit more lightweight than it normally would because of the excessive shedding when we were all sick despite everything that my hair has gone through for the past year i think this is this is pretty good progress i mean i did retain some length i did cut off quite a bit just to um maintain you know nice ends with all the shedding that i've gone through back in march and still kind of going through um my hair is still here and it's still pretty healthy so I'm really happy so yeah guys that is basically it I've shared everything that my hair has gone through for the past year my hair is still standing it's still strong it could be worse in my opinion it still has its health it's not where I want it to be but I'm gonna be working on that for the rest of the year if you guys have gone through something similar or you're currently facing any hair challenges comment down below I'll meet you guys in the comments subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next video